Hey everyone, Mikey Chen here. All right, this is getting to be a little scary, probably especially so for those who watch a lot of end of the world movies. The Ebola outbreak is still growing. More than 3,500 people have been infected by the Ebola virus in Liberia, Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Nigeria since the first documented case in December. There is also a smaller unrelated outbreak in Congo and at least one confirmed case in Senegal. CDC director Dr. Tom Frieden said the official numbers are much lower than the actual number of cases because families afraid of the stigma associated with Ebola do not report sick loved ones. Now what makes Ebola really scary is the fact that it is highly infectious and can kill up to 90% of the people who catches it. And of course currently there is no vaccine against it. More than 1900 people have died from the disease to date and there is no optimism in the words of Dr. Joanne Leo, the international president of Dr without borders. She said, quote, six months into the worst Ebola epidemic in history, the world is losing the battle to contain it. The clock is ticking and Ebola is winning. In other news, Chinese search engine Baidu came out with an interesting product, the Smart Chopstick, or Kui So in Chinese. This product is for those of you who live in countries like China, where unfortunately, you don't trust the foods that you're putting in your mouth. Like in China, an egg might not really be an egg, and uh, also some pieces of pork glow in the dark like some alien life form. So that's where the Smart Chopstick comes in. Supposedly, it can detect oils containing unsanitary levels of contamination. At the company's annual technology conference, Baidu CEO Robin Lee gave a brief introduction of the new product, which he called, quote, a new way to sense the world. That's just a fancy way of saying, now you can eat food that you suspect might kill you. He also said that with the smart chopsticks, you'll be able to know the origin of oil and water and other foods, whether they've gone bad and what sort of nutrition they contain. A video posted by the company shows how to use the product which is linked with a smartphone app. In one experiment, the chopsticks were shown being swiveled in olive oil with the smartphone subsequently displaying a good reading. In another, the chopsticks registered a bad reading after being submerged into recycled cooking oil. The chopsticks also will be able to measure pH levels and temperature and calories. In theory, this is a kind of a cool product, but it is sad that something like this had to be created. And it's also sad that this product will probably generate high demand in China because the problem of fake food is such a major one. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you can. And all the links to the stories are in the description box below. Thanks so much. See ya.